Hey guys and gals, it's Sunday the 18th of April of 2021 and it took me, it's about 10 after 2, it took me a little bit to get out of the house today but I think I'm finally ready to go. Everything's plugged in, I got the A's on the, uh, not on the Sirius anymore and I'll talk about that in the car. Here's our view, here's your handsome narrator. Uh, I haven't had breakfast yet, so I'm going to give me a little something at, at, at Burger King or somewhere. And then we're going to go for a little drive today. Boy, Chico was sure happy when he saw me getting dressed. He was barking and wagging his tail. And when he saw me pick up the leash, he knew he was coming. So, God love him. He's the goodest, bestest boy. We're going to go for a little drive. We're going to sightsee. We're going to talk a little bit. And we'll see what's next. Normally when I make these uh, films, I'm wearing one of my em uh, Evans Field final shirts, I, uh, a baseball jerseys. I uh, point out what I'm wearing. I forgot to today, but you'll see here I'm wearing a New York Knights uh, jersey, the home jersey, made famous by Roy Hobbs, played by Robert Redford, number 9. But you notice it's not number 9, it's number 22, and that was Red. Red Blow, the bench coach. And that was played by Richard Farnsworth, and I suspect I'm the only one on God's green earth with a red blow home New York Knights baseball jersey. So here you go. Take the ticket, you stupid shits. When I put this in the movie uh, or, or, or the video, I'm gonna pu uh, I'm, I'm putting out here that when we lived here, uh, this is the way to Charleston, and often enough, I saw either the county Coos County sheriffs, or every so often, but often enough, Oregon State Police, because this is Oregon 540. Um, well, that's interesting. It's like somebody missed a chef. Um, working radar out here. And you read in the paper, they, they stopped and pulled people over here all the damn time and took them to jail for stupid shit. So, I make damn sure I don't speed on this road. Our next stop of the day finds us in Charleston, which is in Coos County, Oregon along uh, Coos Bay, uh, more towards the uh, mouth of the bay. We're at the uh, at the marina here. These uh, Betty K charters, uh, a, a week ago Thursday, my stepmother Bev, well, she's really my Hanai mom, and my stepsister uh, Teresa, who's really my Hanai sister. Now, uh, we're all family. We decided this. Um, we took this a boat here, the sh let me get my glasses off, Jesus dude. The Shamrock. Uh, Bev and Teresa chartered it. Uh, we went out into the ocean by the lighthouse. Uh, Bev uh, poured uh, her husband, her husband, my birth father Joe, who I'm named after. I'm not Joe Jr., I'm Joe the um, second. Into the ocean with some rose petals. I hung, hung on to the boat for dear life. I did not throw up, but it was very, very difficult. Here's the rest of the of what Charleston is. Um, this is a pretty active port. There's a lot of um, there's a lot of char uh, fishing charters out of here. In fact, uh, last Thursday, a week ago Thursday, <clears throat> excuse me, we were de uh, delayed a, a little bit because uh, the fishing charter got back late. But the people on the boat were real nice. There were two hands and a captain. Captain Kirk, as a matter of fact. And um, they did a good job. They didn't take us too, too far. My stepsister had a hard time with the boat, with the waves too. I didn't throw up. I managed to get back into the car and drive back to camp. I got back by 3 o'clock and I slept from 3 to 6 as soundly as I've ever slept in my life. I felt better and then the next day I felt 
good enough to get around and do stuff. Uh, sadly, my sister had a little bit more of a struggle, but she managed. So my, my Hanai mom and my Hanai sister are good people. They embraced me into their family. They didn't have to. I'm from before they even met Joe, and they could have just blown me off. Um, this really kind of got accelerated after my half-brother, my brother Norman, died a couple of weeks ago and we were going to scatter him too but we the funeral home wanted $1,595 and we just weren't willing to pay it and take on the the nightmare of uh, settling an estate my mom has done four separate estates and I'm I'm just not willing to do it the uh, the county administrator uh, called me uh, we had been playing phone tag, and I said, I'm not going to do it. And she said, well, who is? And I, <laughs> I said, you are. And she said, why? And I told her. I said, one, I'm sick. Two, I'm in California right now. Three, my wife is in assisted living. I said, four, I, I've watched my mom take on this nightmare, and bluntly, I don't want to do it. So, anyway, um, we're out for a little drive today. I got a real hard start. And then, you know, I went to... <laughs> I went to Subway and I ordered the breakfast sandwich and he said, the guy, the sandwich maker said, so you don't want any vegetables? And I said, no, I just want meat, cheese, and bread. I forgot to tell him egg and he didn't remind me, which is not his place. I told him what I wanted. I just told him incorrectly. So in the spirit of complying to, to getting exactly what you asked for, I didn't get egg on my breakfast sandwich, so I'm an idiot today, but I still ate it. I got a couple of cookies in there for me and the boy to eat, and yeah, we'll see what's next.